the wild after a natural and free life cycle. Bacotti offers no solutions for where these massive malevolent creatures might be pastured. Two, dissolution. Laments on, on the destruction of social bonds between herd members. Bacotti actually uses the term families. Harmony. Drivel on the aesthetic wonder of what is, in reality, the great and terrible ocean that ever threatens to swallow us. Includes arguments on the gentle nature of the birds, a notion refuted by seamen who returned to shore wide-eyed with tales of the whale's savagery. Uh, I'm not sure what that is. Something option. Here, Picotti is on his weakest footing, uh, issuing up feverish um, warnings against the whatever or movement or transference of natural beasts from their na na native environments. Oh, it must be disruption. Is probably what that is. So, it sounds like we got uh, some... I don't know. Environmentalists in here? <laughs> Alright. Alright, so there's. That's all there is in here. I'm gonna close that. Best just not to leave any sign that I was even here. I mean, come on. It's a stealth game. We don't want people to know I'm here. Alright, need to do. Fake book! Hmm, I wonder that, what that's for. Money! Money's always good. And I'm thinking Dr. Galvani has no reason for it, or no need for it anymore. E teacup, teacup. Sewer capacity in the month of nets. Now that's something else that's kind of interesting about this is the months have different names. Rain, uh, nets, you know. I had, I'm guessing it has something to do with just generally what's going on. So, excerpted interview attached to a formal report big city or by City Work True 17A. <laughs> I've been asked to tell the problem, so here it is. It's been every year that we work like men gone mad during the month of nets. I don't hardly see my family. It's bad enough that the works is clogged with trash from the catch, pieces of crates and nets, but the water smells of hagfish guts too. We got to get it done before the month of rain or you know what. And it ain't like we get help from those pricks in civil engineering either. Been at this job for now on 28 years, and I've never seen one of them come below, except to measure will it hold when they go putting up one of their fancy new bridges. So these last three years have been the worst, and here's why. It's the river crusts moved into the works. We hear a man ahead yell and scream like he's burning up, and we all climb up fast. No other choice. Hmm. So many interesting little tidbits about this town. Alright, rat viscera. There we go. So we got the rat viscera. Yay. <laughs> okay, so that's it for that place. Alright. Close that up again. Ah, here we go. 287. Okay, who thinks they know what this is for? <laughs> It's for that safe we saw earlier, so let me go ahead. Uh, da, 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 da. And of course there's the loving couple. <laughs> 287, 287. Somebody make sure I don't forget that. 287. Alright. Now see, the first time I ever came through here, I um, I went through the front door at the, at the, the street level. It was a much more difficult uh, thing. Or it was much harder to deal with. All right, dear Ms. Benton, when cleaning my study, I ask that you constrain your efforts strictly to the floors. Please, at all costs, refrain from attempting to clean or arrange my bookshelf. Hmm. Pardon the copy. In fact, it would be best to keep away from it altogether. Otherwise, I'll have to reconsider the terms of your employment. Regards, Dr. Galvani. Yes, since I'll be out of the city for a few days, I've left next week's pay as well. The bank was closed, so I'm afraid it's short by half. You can count on me for the remainder next week, of course. I think that's the money we took. I think uh, I think we stole that lady's pay. <laughs> Whoops. Ah, well. Let's see. Anything else useful? I'm... Apparently, I missed something. Yeah, processed whale oil, that stuff's awesome. I mean... Yeah. Uh, 
free razors. Not that I ever use those. Alright, come on. Back down we go. I mean, I could just go through that door. I've already taken care of the the guards and everything up here, so it's not like it's something I got to worry about. But I'm trying to be sneaky here, man. Okay, so right here again. Where is the safe? Safe. Two eight seven, right? Ingots. Nice. Money is good. Money is good. Can't buy the fancy stuff I really need to to do what I'm doing here without it. So, all right. So that is that. We've got the the rat guts that we need needed. So now we're going back to Clavering Boulevard and. Uh, <laughs> Alright. Oops. There we go. Don't want to use up my magic too fast. Tell me again what you'll do if Slack John his Battle Street boys jump you. Slack John his Battle Street boys. Those are the guys we're going to take care of, so to speak. Yeah, I can't quite go that far. I don't see anybody down there right now. Alright. So now we're on to the next little bit. The door to Dunwall Whiskey Distillery. Honestly, I'm not sure what purpose this, this the whole set of missions serves. And I don't know... Um... <laughs> okay. That, uh... Hmm. Apparently there was a tripwire I didn't see. Good thing I got to it before uh, it got to, got to me, so... Uh, but yeah, I really don't know what... They're talking about me. Anyways, like I was saying, I don't know what exactly this whole side mission does for me. I mean, I could probably get away without doing it, but. But you never know. Rash, you got lucky. When you're this handsome, you don't need luck. Face like a hagfish. Pay out. Don't be sour. Say, when's Slackjaw coming down? Not till the next batch of elixir's done. He'll want to check on things. 
Then you'd better get all your shit together, huh? Everything's fine. I run the still like I run a game of Nancy. Yeah. Hmm. Not fast enough. Right, where are you boys going? Down the steps and where you can't see me, I hope. Nothing smug and rude. Spotting me. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick save here. <laughs> Just in case. <clears throat> see, this is where having this uh, this ability comes in handy. You see that little line over there? That's a tripwire. If I didn't have this ability, even though I can, you know, see through walls and, and stuff. I wouldn't be able to see that. There's like a whole bunch of good stuff in there, so. Let's see here. Yeah, we got rats, rats everywhere. The key. That's right, I picked up a key. <laughs> I am so smart. SMR key. Yes, I just did a Homer Simpson. Ooh, another key. Key. Huh. Recipe for Craxton. Craxton, I'm coming tomorrow to check on the batch. Make sure you're wearing pants this time and stick to the recipe. Hmm, okay. Uh, one part Sokolov's li elixir, one part beach gum paste, two parts sugar water. That's it. The more the real shit you cut in, the less there is to spread around, and the less coin I make. This ain't a charity. Slack jaw. One, language slack jaw. And two, that guy's an ass. He, he's, he's like making a cheap knockoff of the elixir. Not to the Abbey or the office Oops. of high overseer. He just wants to know where his brother's going. He sneaks it. You know where? Brilliant at it when he's sober. I remember. Brimsley job. Hidden the dumbwaiter all night. Yeah. So he goes from room to room. Kids sleeping. An overseer giving a lecture to the kids. A couple guys training with those hounds. Stuff you'd expect. But it gets weird. Some kind of machinery. Then a woman laughing. Just laughing and laughing. Then music. Kind of plinky, clunky sound. That's what spooked him. You sure he wasn't drunk? Says he still hears it at night. He's hmm. sure he'd find his brother. Okay. That's, yeah, that's moderately creepy. Alright. Let me watch these guys, see if they're gonna. That's an excellent Okay. Well, they're not looking this way, so that's, that's a good thing. Loudly, they made quite a ride. The nobleman's wife took the butcher and knife, carved herself some peace and quiet. <laughs> oh, I get it. The wife done cut up both, right? Yeah, Jesus. Oh, uh, let me think. Dark room. Okay, guys. Yeah, guys. Ready? Okay. Uh, you oh, what else you expect from a street gang? Well, I know a hundred of these old rats. My mummy used to tell them at me. Hmm. I wonder if I can get up there. Nope. Oh well. It's worth a shot. <laughs> yeah, the fuck are you guys? Shut up. Now they're all. Where is he going? Just don't look this way, dude. 